we're now at the initial stand at the 3D Print Show in London. Here with Bob Jeffries, who's the 3D consultant, sorry, 3D printing consultant at the company Mission. What are we looking at here, Bob? So this is a new application that we've uh, produced, which is basically a combination of augmented reality and 3D printing. And the idea behind it is to bring to life uh, 3D printed models and, and overlay interesting information about them, whether it be a visual or actual service information about building layouts and plans. And this hasn't actually been done before, so this is... Well, well, uh, actually, if you, check, if, you at, if you look at that, so what we're seeing here is obviously CG. The building here, is that 3D printed itself? Yeah, so it's, a, it's an object 3D printed, and then using the marker below, we're augmenting this scene across it, which is actually showing how the light path changes the, three, the 3D print scenario. Sure. And we also have other features, so information looking at the layout of the building, and so you can go through different floors. Uh, okay, so like building services support and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. And a key to show you which areas are, and even going into the basement. Wow. Go back to another one, and this is to look at. You know, as I say, this is a work in progress at the moment, but this is a way of looking at the actual services yeah. of the building whilst looking at the actual exterior as well. Okay. And then other things that you can show are wind flows around the building, which are quite important when considering construction. Mm -hmm. And you can see how that wind affects the building. So, uh, wow, well, okay, can go where it's, where it's in the context of a. Yeah. Okay, so. Who have you worked with on this? Because I understand a couple of architects are looking into this, or are they, are they already using this technology, or is yeah. this just a proof of concept? So, so this is a proof of concept that we've been working on with uh, Zaha Hadid. Um, so this is a, a project that's actually about, this building is about to be opened officially yeah. in the next uh, month or so, so it's uh, a museum over in Michigan. And so we, we were unable to, uh, to get some of the building information that they had already known so add that to the feature, obviously it could have been done before the building was built, but we thought it was more relevant for a building that's actually there so people can you know, uh, see the difference between the actual building and, and what we were I mean, It's an sort of amazing way of vision. I suppose you could sort of have a theme park and see where it goes and things like that. Are you and Zaha commercialising this thing? Are you doing a deal with them to make this uh, a commercial product? Yeah, so the, uh, it's early stage at the moment and we wanted to work with them they were interested yeah. in it. And we're looking to do it a little further. They've now seen it today. They, they really like it and they've, got, they've already thought about different ideas that they want to implement into it and even not just buildings, they're sort of product design range as well, being able to you know, look at interesting information about a 3D printed object anywhere in the world. The two brains here, what's, what's the difference? Um, so the brains are actually the right hand side. Um, but the, the idea of this sort of project, we actually entered a competition uh, with what can you do with 3D printing and how can you show software to do it. So what we decided to do is one of our colleagues was uh, part of a medical kind of testing uh, thing. So he got his MRI scan and his head and thought, how can we convert that data into a 3D printing object? So using a clever bit of software, we were able to use that slice data. And we kind of thought, well yeah, that, that can be done, but then what can we do with that? And we thought, well let's, let's make a mould of it and make a bit of chocolate. And so um, will this be eaten at the end of the show? Um, it's a funny box, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so just paint for the No, well that, this is actually the second mould, so oh. the, the, the sort of bad end of milk and chocolate and the pink elements we, we actually tried to add some food colour in to make it a bit more oh, okay. um, <laughs>